God created us the way we are. I know God didn't create me this way to burn me. You're right. You're right. God didn't create you to burn you. God didn't create you this way to burn you. God created you this way to test you. Way of life has cubed. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Man, oh man, oh man. Today we have something juicy for you guys, and it is about a Yemeni gay. Muslim. Say what? Guys, these are uncomfortable conversations that we are having, but they have to happen. Otherwise, people will be lost and confused and they won't have the Islamic perspective as to what should be done. Before we react to the video, make sure you smash this video with a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. Now let's jump into this video. A part of my society discovered that I was gay and Yemeni, Arab, Muslim, yeah. and literally lost it. Say what? I'm getting bullied with slurs to me and my family to death right. threats. So let, let's pause right here, right? Like bullying is never okay. There's never any reason to bully anyone, no matter how much, you know, someone goes against you or what you believe in or someone what's against your beliefs. Ridiculing, laughing, and making jokes at the expense of others is always wrong. There is no Islamic justification for anyone bullying anyone for any reason whatsoever. They got my Instagram hacked and taken down, but you know, I recovered it. No type of bullying is okay. It's inhumane. And it's the reason why people take away their lives. And I know. I know I came out as a little outspoken and a little too comfortable in my skin where I showed a little too much, but it's my life and I will deal with the consequences. It's not my fault that the videos were getting spread. It was the people that are attacking me that spread the video. So if you're worried about the kids seeing these kind of videos, be mad at the people that spread them, not me. So, so let's pause for a second over here. If you are publicly displaying a video, just know that you are going to receive and they, everyone has the full right to publicly give you praise or publicly shame you. When you put something out in the public, that is what you are opening yourself up to. When you make that commitment to publicly come out with something like this, everyone, because you put it in the open, you are giving people permission to share it automatically. You, there's no one has to ask you for copyright permission. That's not how this works. If you publicly post something, that means you can accept the public criticism or the public praise. As far as sharing something, I do agree. We shouldn't be sharing things and promoting things that aren't right, especially for no purpose whatsoever, because then that's just cyber gossiping. But if you are sharing a video or perhaps analyzing a video like I'm doing right now, that's different because you're trying to derive lessons from them, which most people aren't trying to do. Most people just want to know the tea. So a little background of my life. Both of my parents are from Yemen. They're very successful, educated, and the kindest human beings you'll ever meet in your life. So for the ones saying that they didn't know how to raise me, that they should be ashamed, they should burn in hell, back off. Me and my parents have a wonderful, loving, close, understanding relationship, and I couldn't ask for better parents. Hang on a second. That That's true. Why, why should your parents go against you? Why shouldn't they support you? I mean, have you disbelieved in Allah? Have you disbelieved in the messenger? Have you then acted upon that sexual desire? If you have not, why shouldn't they support you? Yes, you might be different in quotes compared to the average person that we know. We're not used to seeing people come out in the open like that from the Yemeni background, but you haven't acted upon those sexual desires of yours. And for that, there's no reason for you to be out of the fold of Islam because these are your own personal sexual desires that you're having. As far as myself, I lived in Yemen the first 10 years of my life and then moved to America, the land of the free, for the rest. That bothers me, bro, the land of the free. Like, freedom of choice doesn't make you free from consequences. Forget the land of the free. Allah has made us free. And there's a day called the Day of Judgment, which we will be asked about all those free choices and decisions that we have made. So don't let freedom get to our heads now. I've enjoyed my experience in Yemen so much. So for the ones that say that I shouldn't claim Yemen because it's an embarrassment, it's a shame, it was a part and still a part of my daily life life. I will not unclaim it just because I'm gay. I'm sorry, but I'm not. You know, the crazy part is that people are more upset that he's Yemeni and gay than actually just gay in itself because a lot of people have this asabiya, this pride, this nationalism towards their countries that they feel like you are a black spot 
to the name, to the flag of our country. And that's wrong in itself. Like, I can understand why you would be upset, even though, like, it's more of a taboo issue that you're upset. It's not like you saw this dude making out with another dude or him having sexual relations with someone. You're upset for pride reasons, not for an Islamic reason. And I remember, true story, a kid, you know, that we all knew came to the masjid one day and he had a earring and this brother came and pulled him to the side and say, hey, astaghfirullah, what are you doing? You're from Yemen, you should know better. And that's the problem. You're putting Yemen above Islam. You're putting Yemen, the culture, the fact that he was born in Yemen, raised in Yemen, that he should know better all of a sudden. Nah, bro, when you're in any country, there are fitnas and America is no different. If you come to America, no matter how great your upbringing was, you're exposed to the same fitnas. But I'm of the opinion that America exposes you. It's not something that's evil. The Western countries aren't evil. They expose you by making certain things accessible for you. And that's the true test to see, were you just obeying Allah because alcohol wasn't available, zina wasn't openly available, or were you actually staying away from these things because it was wrong and displeased Allah? That's the test of the West. I rhymed. As far as being Muslim, I was born into a Muslim family and practiced the religion of Islam. I get that being gay and Muslim has conflict. Instead of finding a way of having me still practice the religion and be gay, you are so ready to get rid of me. Mmm. Mmm. That's true. If you look at the Muslim community, that small percentage of people that do identify as gay or homosexuals, like really ask yourself, like, what are the outreach or dawah sort of uh, movements for them? How are we outreaching to them? Because because we're not outreaching to them, because we're not including them in the dawah, that's when people find their own $2 scholars who change the word of Allah, change their religion just to make it fit their own desires and say, no, being gay is halal as long as you're not attacking people and blah, 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 blah. And they make up all these things against Islam because we have left and abandoned those who identify to be gay. And now because they can't get any religious teachings or scholars coming to them, they get these fake scholars who just say, ah, it's okay, bismillah, it's halal, don't worry about it. Say what? It is our responsibility to make sure that we're outreaching to everyone because we have to make sure that we're delivering Islam with equity. Everyone deserves the message of Islam. Remember this. Let God be the judge. And, and you know, that's a very common statement that we hear that let God be the judge. But Allah, God sent a book for you to judge yourself before Allah gets to judge you. He sent a rubric. So there's a very common notion that only God can judge me. No, you can judge yourself too, according to the laws and the commandments that God has put for us. I've talked in length about homosexuality. I'm going to put that in the cards up over here. Go watch that video as well to get a more holistic understanding about what I'm talking about. And you can't influence anybody to be gay if that's what you're worried about. It's a natural process, just like how somebody's straight, somebody's gay, and that's that. And for the ones that tell me, oh, you know, stop being gay, you should be straight, that's the correct way. I didn't choose to be gay. I was born like this. I've always known I was gay. I've tried so many times to change it, trust me, which is really sad, but nothing worked. I accepted the fact that I am gay, and that's okay. Okay, I think that this is something that we have to stop on right now because it's clear that the bro was definitely struggling with this and actually still struggles with it even though he has openly accepted it. It's still something that he is struggling with. You can tell that he's dealing with anxiety, stress, and even depression right now because though you're accepting this, you also know that it's something that's not widely accepted so it can make a lot of conflicts within yourself. His beliefs and values are sort of being pulled on right now. His beliefs are that I gotta believe in God as messenger and what's in the Quran, but his values are telling him that, you know, it's okay for you to be this way and God made you this way, so it's fine. So there's a massive struggle between his beliefs and his values. I can also see why people might feel like he is promoting Islam by openly saying that I am gay and I've accepted this, but he's identifying with his sexuality. No one walks around saying I am straight and I've accepted this. No one walks around claiming these things and he's made being homosexual his identity and that's something that we all gotta be really careful of. We don't identify with our gender, our race, our sexuality, 
we identify ourselves as Muslims, people who believe in the oneness of God and follow the teachings of the Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So we have to make sure that we're not really like identifying with sexuality, race, and you know, gender and all these things. We need to identify with one cause, and that is Islam. But I could also see him doing a positive promotion where he is like on his deen, on point, doing everything on point, and also restraining himself from acting upon his sexual desires and being attracted to the same gender. So if he wants to be a role model from that perspective, I think that would be a great idea where you accept the fact that, listen, this is my sexuality and I can't help it, but that does not mean I'm going to succumb to my own desires and actually act upon them. Me and God have a special relationship where he told me to accept myself and it that's, is okay and to still belong to the religion that I claim. That's that's a little dangerous because there's been a lot of people historically who have said that God told them to do something such as Jim Jones and he told his congregation that God told me to basically take you guys to the promised land and that's where he gave them all the Kool-Aid and 909 people died that day from drinking cyanide. Hitler felt like God sent him to hunt the Jews. And that's what he was doing, God's work, because that's why God sent him. So we gotta be careful that we don't just say things like, God wants me to be this way, or God has sent me to be this way, or God has spoken to me. God hasn't spoken to anyone after the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, because Jibreel alayhi salam is the messenger angel for revelation, and no one is gonna receive revelation after him. Let's get that through our heads. God created us the way we are. I know God didn't create me this way to burn me. You're right, you're right. God didn't create you to burn you. God didn't create you this way to burn you. God created you this way to test you, to see that is my servant, my slave going to act upon his desire to do something even though it goes against what I want for him? That's the test. It's not to burn you. You're absolutely correct. It's to test you to see, are you going to obey God or are you going to obey your nafs, your desires to be attracted to the same gender and actually act upon that attraction? Not just feel it in your heart, but actually act upon it. That's a test. To accept that there is a personal struggle with your sexuality between you and God, and that's a personal relationship that you have, I think that's absolutely fine. But that's where we draw the line. Like That's where the line is drawn. It is not a green light that God has given you that you can act upon this desire, right? So like, if you can have, let's suppose I can have a crazy, dirty type of idea of robbing a bank or doing some type of haram relationship with someone, zina with someone, as long as it's in my mind, it's not a sin. The moment it becomes a sin is when I act upon that desire. But we have to remember, the idea is placed in our heads. Now the shaitan is going to do his waswasa to act actually cause us to think more about that idea and act upon it as well. Nobody will try to influence me to get rid of my religion. I battle and still battle anxiety, depression, from fear, stress, from my society's judgment. I love my culture and religion very much. It's my society that makes me scared of it. I am who I am. I don't care what anybody has to say. The people that love me for me will be a part of my life. Understand that everyone chooses their own path in life and you can't force your beliefs on somebody You're else. absolutely right. You can't force your beliefs in Allah upon anyone else. You can't force anyone to obey Allah. You're absolutely right. God has given us something called free will. We're not like a tree that Allah has just programmed us to be a mango tree and we have to be that forever. Absolutely not. Allah has given us free will, the ability to think intellectually, to be cognitive. That is a blessing that human beings exclusively have. And God is going to judge us based upon our decisions that we made in in our own free will. And the reason people do judge you and everyone else, I mean, I get my own fair share of judgment on this platform, is because people project their own insecurities and hatreds that they have for themselves upon others. I know for a fact that there are many kids right. and adults that are Muslim right. and in the closet True. that are suffering that they need their voices to be heard. I don't want anyone to go through the rough, confusing, scary childhood that I went through. That's true, right? Because parents are not having these open conversations with their children. Because parents are still, you know, dancing around this topic and believing it to be so taboo that the outside world, the teachers, the schools, and every other facility, the TV, the media is educating our children about how to deal with homosexuality and how do we live amongst those who identify themselves to be homosexuals. If we're not talking about it to our children, who else will? But the only conversation that our parents have with us about homosexuality is this. Oh, my son. Um, yes, dad. Being a gay is haram. Oh. 
okay? Hey, you're not a um, a gay, are you? Tad, I'm I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I I I know that, but but why? Hey, don't bloody ask me why it's haram. It's haram because Allah said so. It's haram. That's it. I mean, I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below after hearing all of this. What are your thoughts? How would you advise this bro if you had an opportunity to talk to him? I like the fact that he's like talking about it in an open way, but I don't like the fact that he's identifying himself with his sexuality. Like we identify ourselves as Muslims. We're not proclaiming I'm a man. That's stupid. I'm a woman. That's weird. Like, what, what are you going on, bro? All right, good for you, bro. You're a man. You're a woman. Good for you. We identify ourselves to be Muslims, people who obey Allah and worship him and put his pleasure above our own desires. But if I have any advice for the bro is to hit me up, man. I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to be there for you if you need anything whatsoever. And don't feel like you're alone, man. Don't like try to do something stupid, like take your life away or something like that. If you're having any types of problems or issues, just hit me up, message me i'll be more than happy to talk to you man and just just be there for you well just like for watching guys i would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below drop them down there there's a lot of you are gonna hate the fact that i was so soft with the brother and gentle with him if you want to go watch someone who yells at people for being gay i'm not the person to do that so i'm not sure why you're watching this channel still well i've said what i had to say about this make sure you smash this video with a huge thumbs up so that other people who are struggling with this can benefit from this advice as well i want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below and i want to connect with you so make sure you drop your thoughts in the comment section below if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing by hitting this button right here watch one of my other videos by hitting one of these videos right here and until next time i'm out